Muhammad Ali, the white trunks, Zora Foley, the challenger, in the dark trunks, they are brown. Foley is a patient fighter, counter puncher, and he gets in a light right hand there. Ali, the champion, figures to circle the ring till he's ready to carry the attack to his opponent. Now remember, especially in the early rounds, the 34-year-old Foley will be dangerous. Time could work again. The champion has speed, great speed. Two minutes left in round one. And that's a little less majesty. The challenge is showing no respect for the champion. Out of respect, probably, for Foley's punching power, the champion keeping his gloves up higher than he usually does. Usually dangles them at his hips. Champion seemingly is going to get aggressive any moment. He's looking for the spot. And that was not a soft punch. Foley has brought the crowd up with those punches. Ten seconds left in round one. Ali's looking to get in there now with that famous flurry. He's also got to watch the countering right hand. Bothering Foley, apparently. Two minutes left in this round. Johnny Lobianco, a very fine referee, is in there. Foley is getting those jabs into the body, too. Some of the crowd is yelling, stand still, Foley. Don't walk around and get tired. I guess Zora knows what to do. They have both had harder sessions in the gymnasium. But without the tension of the championship match. Notice how Foley can ride back with those punches, but now the champion's jab is getting in there. <laughs> Ali got in his first good right hand that time. Flush on the jaw. Foley took it well. Round three of Madison Square Garden. The champion is now finding his opponent with jabs and is looking better. See how quick the champion's left hand is? Ten seconds to go in this round. Round three. Round four in this heavyweight match. Muhammad Ali, the champion of all the world in the white trunk. Foley, the challenger from Chandler, Arizona. Champion weighing 211 and a half. Foley, 202 and a half.
Although there's little action, the crowd doesn't seem to mind. Champion Ali is always a show, no matter what he's doing. Foley is gradually cutting down the, uh, the distance that Ali is away from him. He, he's trying to corner. Ali is trying to corner him little by little. See how well the challenger rolls back from those punches? And there's Foley down! Five, six, seven, eight. Foley is up at nine. About a minute and 40 seconds left to go in the round, and Foley is back battling. They said Foley wouldn't be Tiger, but he is. This has turned into quite a fight, hasn't it? One minute to go in round four. Foley bleeding from the nose. Foley's coming back from that knockdown, and he is scoring. One of the infrequent clinches. punches that put Foley down came so fast, you could hardly see them. There's nothing wrong with Foley's courage, believe me. Ten seconds to go in round four. Dunfield ringside in this heavyweight championship match. Muhammad Ali, the champion, the white trunks. Challenges Zora Foley and Brown. In case you join us late, Foley was down from a combination in the fourth round. Took the count listening to it and got up and has fought fairly well since. On the last round or so, the champion speed has been turning the fight his way. Now he is moving in, which is, has been unusual for him in this fight. That was a blocked punch, and uh, Foley rolled with them. to go in round seven. Who, oh, of course, is the sentimental favorite with the crowd. talked about Foley's courage. The champion has plenty himself. There's no question about that. That's Foley down from that right hand. I don't know if he's going to make this one. Six, seven, eight. He's not. No. He gamely tried to get up. And Muhammad Ali has retained his heavyweight championship of the world. After about one minute and 55 seconds of the seventh round, Foley tried game. Gamely, he gave the champion the best battle of the champion's career. That is, since he has been champion. And here's Johnny Addy with the announcement. The time, one minute and 38 seconds of the seventh round. 